Alrighty, folks. Hey there, Kim students. Uh, so today is Friday, August 21st. Uh, and this is just a recording for those of you guys who weren't able to make it to our first live class today. Uh, I'm going to introduce myself a little bit, go over a few things for Schoology, just to make sure you're ready for next week. Uh, and that'll be that. Oh, and I'll also set something on fire. Can't, you know, God set something on fire, right? Uh, anyway, so just a little bit about me. I'm Mr. Pilcher. Um, I'm your honors chemistry teacher. And uh, let's see here, some fun things about me. So uh, this is my third year teaching at North. Uh, and I also graduated from North in 2009, so I had a lot of the same teachers you guys do. Mr. Yanti was still the principal back then. It was one of his first years, though. Um, I'm a huge Cleveland sports fan, so I love the Browns, the Cavs, the Indians. I'm a huge Ohio State fan. I love Ezekiel Elliott. It's probably the love of my life. Don't tell my wife I said that, but, you know, it's true. Uh, anyways, um, and then, uh, yeah, my wife uh, and I, we had our fifth anniversary this summer. Now, um, she was a Westville South graduate, and she was a Michigan fan when we got married, but don't worry, I fixed her. Now she loves Ohio State, and she loves Westville North. Uh, I also threw out her uh, only long sleeve Michigan t-shirt. She doesn't know that, but it's gone now, um, rightfully so, in the trash. But anyway, so that's just a little bit about me. <laughs> um, so let me show you guys a few things on uh, Schoology. And then, you know, set some, something on fire and then we'll get out of here. So, if I bring up Schoology here. So you guys went to the Start Here folder and that's where you found this video. So you went to the Start Here and then you went to Friday and that's where you found this video. Now, uh, next week, we're going to be starting our first unit. And at the beginning of every unit, you'll have the calendar. And you'll also notice there's a packet right here. If you click on that packet, this is all the handouts that you guys could possibly need uh, during a unit. So it's got notes handouts, it's got practice problems, it's got a review sheet for the unit test, all that good stuff. So it's pretty big. And uh, this is something that you don't have to print out, because I know not everyone has a printer, but um, I strongly suggest that you print it out. That way um, you can take notes more easily, you can do practice problems more easily. Uh, and so you should probably print this out if you can. If you really want to print it out, but you just don't have access to a printer, please shoot me a message and I'll see what we can do. We might be able to do some sort of delivery system, something like that. But let me know if you want something, okay? Anyways, um, so here's the big packet right there. That's always going to show up right at the beginning of every unit, um, a few days in advance, that way you can kind of print it off. And so uh, when we get to Monday of next week, you're going to go ahead and start here by the going to the week one folder. Again, it's got its dates on it, if you can't remember what week of school it is. So you click here. If you have any questions, you can post them in this chat up here. And you're gonna start by going to the Monday folder. Monday will have a video link in here, okay? This will be a link by the time you get to it on Monday. And then you'll answer three quick questions about the video, It'll be an easy six points. And once you do those two things, this will be a green check mark saying, hey, you've done this folder. And once this becomes a green check mark, you can then open the Tuesday folder. And in the Tuesday folder, there'll be another recording, another three question quiz. And you do those two things. You get another green check mark. Wednesday is live class. So this is the uh, one day of the week where you have to show up at a specific time. So for example, if you have any first period, you need to come see me at Wednesday at 7.25 a.m. Uh, anyway, so if you were to go into this folder right here, um, you have a Google Meets link right here probably, and the code will be right here. Um, now, uh, in this, on Wednesday classes, we're usually doing lots of practice problems, or those are where I'm going over specific questions that people have. So if everyone asks about problem number six on a worksheet, uh, there's a great chance that we're going to do that on Wednesday. And we're really reinforcing the materials that we covered on Mondays and Tuesdays in these Wednesdays live lectures. Now, if you miss Wednesday live lectures, there's two things you need to know. So for example, I had someone email me, hey, I got a golf tournament this coming Wednesday, I can't be there. So um, what you need to do is, after live classes are done on Wednesdays, I will post a recording of class right here. Okay, so you'll watch that recording. And then the other thing you need to do is you need to make sure you come to Thursday office hours. So office hours on Thursdays are optional unless you miss the live Wednesday lecture. Then you do need to make sure you come to those Thursday office hours. I need to see you in person. I need to interact with you in some way to know, 
hey, you're doing okay, you're getting the questions that you have uh, answered, um, and that you're participating. So if you come to Wednesday class, you get 10 out of 10 for your participation points, but if you miss that Wednesday class, make sure you come to the office hours to get those 10 points, okay? Again, if you're at the Thursday folder here, so Thursdays they'll have the office hour links like I just mentioned, but they'll also have some sort of lab video. So you need to watch these videos, okay? There's gonna be new information in there. These are labs that we would normally do in person. So next Thursday is gonna be the gold pain lab that we usually do the first week of school, it's really fun. Uh, so once you watch that lecture right there, uh, then you'll also get a green check mark, boom, right there for your lab day. Now, once you get a green check mark for Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, then you'll be able to open the Friday folder. Now, the quiz won't appear in here until Friday itself, um, but you won't be able to open it regardless of the day until you get Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday green check marks. Now, Friday's quiz um, will be about 24 points, this first one coming up. It's going to cover all the stuff that we learned Monday through Thursday. Okay, so as long as you're doing Monday through Thursday stuff, you're understanding the quizzes, the practice questions, all that good stuff. I, Friday's quizzes, they shouldn't be like big surprises. You should be like, oh, I've seen a question very similar to this before already, that kind of thing. Um, now, let's talk a little bit about uh, answer keys in my class. So like I said, the unit one packets, this big monster here, okay? And so some of them are, some of these handouts are like notes. So this first page is kind of like notes. And the second page are just sort of labeling these different pieces of equipment after you watch the equipment video on Tuesday. But then some of them are more like practice problems. So like this guy right here, identify the controls and variables worksheet. So um, we'll probably be doing this, uh, we'll be doing this I think Wednesday of next week. Now in this class, we did homework, but we don't really grade any homework, if you will. So what we do is we get lots and lots of practice problems, way more practice problems than we think you need. And here's why. Uh, I don't like making people do practice problems just to do them. Uh, I think practice problems are there to help you improve, and that's the purpose of them. And so sometimes, so let's say uh, you're one student, you fill out the first couple problems on this worksheet, and you check the answer key, and you're getting everything correct, boom, boom, boom. You understand what you're doing? Well, then maybe you don't need to do any more practice problems. But for other students uh, with different subjects, maybe they're like, okay, I did the first one, it worked out okay. And then I did the second one, it was a little bit better. And then after I did like the third practice problem, then I was kind of getting in the groove. So you need to do as many practice problems as you need to do, okay? To make sure that you're ready for the quiz. So uh, with our homework, we always post the answer keys to pretty much everything. So the answer key to this practice worksheet will be posted. Um, so if I first bring up this uh, worksheet in Wednesday, uh, you'll end up finding the key in Wednesday. So we post keys to everything. Now just be careful with keys. A lot of times people will just sort of read the answer keys and feel like they're getting ready that way. Um, that's not going to help you that much. What really helps is if you do several practice problems on your own and then use the answer key to check work you've already done. Okay? So don't just like kind of go straight to the answer key first. Do a few practice problems, check a couple practice problems. Do a few more practice problems, check a couple more practice problems. And that's the best way to really make sure that you're ready and you're taking ownership of what you need to be doing. So that's kind of that for like a typical week. Um, remember, if you miss a certain day of school, so let's say you miss a, a Tuesday, just go straight to the Tuesday folder and everything you need should be there in Tuesdays. Uh, and you know, remember, the big packet for everything will always be at the very beginning of the unit, okay? Now, it wouldn't be a proper week of chemistry if I didn't set something on fire, okay? Especially that first week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more quick demo that I would normally do with you guys here in class. So I'm moving my little video over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick demo for you. So I'm gonna try and pop this first balloon with a little flame. Here we go. One, two, oh! Okay, that was all right. Why don't I try the other balloon and see if that's any better? I've got a good feeling about this. All right. One, two. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that makes me jump every time. Woo! -hoo. All right. It was a good first week, folks. I'll see you on Monday, all right?